Okay, let's block this at center attack, get the knight out. Oh, interesting. Let's just bring the bishop here. Pawn up, tap the bishop. Um, we'll leave the bishop for now. Let's just take this pawn. And let's just castle. Develop the knight. So I'm not in this stuck state at the minute. I feel like it's building up towards it. Feel comfortable with this position. It's attacking the bishop. And let's just bring the bishop back. So it's overextended his knight. The pieces aren't working together apart from him supporting with his bishop here. So that is working together. Interesting. Uh -huh. Okay, let's um, treat that as a sacrifice of the rook. Oh, he's not actually gone for the rook. A missed opportunity. Okay, let's grab. So he's going to be looking for the rook again with the pawn. Let's go after move. Is there a position that we can take advantage of? There is actually, because we can come here with a check on the king. Bishop's got no protection on, so we kind of win that back. 2 minutes 15, 2 minutes 22 for the opponent, so that's not bad. The opponent's done a big overreach. They did nicely work the pieces together. It's just that it was kind of like a single attack, which then really didn't... Well, he's coming down attacking now, all guns blazing. He's looking for a fork here on our bishop, so we need to be careful of that. Just going to bring the bishop here, blocking and attacking at the same time. So to all intents and purposes, it looks like we're a minor piece up after that situation. But we need to move fast and we need to move swift and very effectively. It's going to move the knight. don't really want him to because I want to take that knight off the board. But he's going to move it to attack. So he'll attack it either here or here with his knight. Oh, he's attacking the queen. Could take the pawn. Just take it with the knight. 